This video showcases my six months progress in Clash of Clans and towards the end of the video we will be discussing where we take this series moving forward if we even continue. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Juno Sloth. After five and a half months on this series, we are pretty much a maxed Town Hall 9. There's still two weeks to go at the time of recording this part of the video until the six months is out. Now yes, we have one Tesla level to get to that maximum, all of the others are maxed. Our heroes are both going to be level 26, so a couple of hero levels left to go, but I am going to start this episode upgrading to Town Hall 10. Specifically because at the start of each month throughout Town Hall 9, I've been a bit lazy on this series the first week and a half or so, for the main reason that I've kept my builders working and not had to do anything, purely because of the loot from the season pass. I haven't even purchased the season pass yet, so yes, I could have had a little bit more efficiency, but let's go ahead and do that first by entering Code Judo in the shop using the C. That's a way you can support me on the channel, and it's much appreciated. And let's get that gold pass so we can start getting our builder discount. Now, I say I have been a little bit lazy on this account, but really it was never set up to be a speed run or anything like that and honestly we have actually met a lot of the goals that i initially set out in this series so i will talk a little bit later on about what we do with this if we continue this series but the lab just so you can see my progress all of the troops are maxed all of these spells we just have a few other dark elixir upgrades which obviously i've been using the dark elixir for the heroes now the witches i have to the max level i showed you this farming strategy the baby dragons and lightning spell in the last episode but i do want to show you the witches because that is the easiest town hall 9 attack so let's begin the upgrade to town hall 10 first we can go ahead and use a rune of gold in order to fill up our storages there's another in the gold pass and oh not too quick there judo we've got the gold pass go ahead and collect those rewards first then the town hall you can see is 400,000 gold cheaper, but it is also a little bit quicker to upgrade as well. This should work out pretty good for me because it's a Friday afternoon now and I'm busy all weekend, but on Monday morning, I will log back in as we upgrade to Town Hall 10. I will give you an upgrade guide for Town Hall 10 and also once my queen is finished in this upgrade, we can show you the witches. Checking my builders, the traps will be finished in a few hours and I can just get these other builders cycling through the other cheaper traps. I can probably get the hidden Tesla done as well. So we're pretty much ready at Town Hall 10. You don't always have to max. You just have to keep your builders working. And my elixir, well, I haven't been able to spend it. One of the negatives is you can see I've barely attacked this month. But when I have, I haven't filled up the season bank with elixir because it's already full. When we get to Town Hall 10, the walls start becoming a lot more expensive. You can see half a million per wall piece and we can use that elixir. So we will be able to just dump the excess elixir into walls essentially. And then it's not getting wasted. Ouch, this is painful. On my defense log, one million elixir. We need to get to Town Hall 10 and start using it. Here we go, Town Hall 10 five days of boost and you want to be active as much as possible during this because you get so many perks top tip look at the attack button to the bottom left i did not collect my star bonus yesterday you can stack two days of star bonus because i knew i would get the four times reward right now with the town hall boost so whenever you're upgrading your town hall do not collect the star bonus, you can get a little bit extra. We've also got five builders ready to go, and we know the elixir was overflowing, so let's begin with the elixir upgrades laboratory. This is recommended as soon as you get to any town hall level, because you will be able to use the maximum troops from that lab due to the town hall boost. Always make sure you have an upgrade going within that as well, because the upgrade will continue in the background. 
I've said it before, I will say it again. Offense upgrades is what you need as soon as you get to any new town hall level. So I am going to upgrade the army camps because that means I can take more troops into battle. Irrespective of the troop level, the more you can take into an attack, the stronger your attack is obviously going to be. I also tend to use one builder in order to cycle through these cheap defenses pretty quickly. Because once you've built them, you can upgrade them in next to no time, and that's going to increase the strength of your base drastically. This is the easiest Town Hall 9 strategy, the one I said I would show you. Yes, my heroes are boosted to level 31, but let's not take Clan Castle troops in order to compromise and make up for that. Okay, so it's not really easy to find a max to Town Hall 9, particularly at my trophy range, but let's show you the strategy. Really, your point of entry is wherever it is easiest to get all of the way through the base. On this one, I could probably enter it either side. So let's just go from the top left. You want to use a golem, three witches, and a wizard at either side. And this is to create your funneling. You can let them do their thing a little bit so that your main army moves into the center. Once they've taken out just a couple of buildings, you can go with the golem, the three other witches, wizard, king, queen, and wall breakers for the initial layer of wall. You can use a rage spell to get them a little bit further, but if you can, just save that rage spell just a touch. Now, if you can take clan castle troops, I would recommend bowlers if you have higher level uh, clan mates or valkyries suffice. Use a rage and a heal early on alongside the poison for the CC troops. Now, I'm going to use a jump right in the center. Your jump spells basically give you access through the base. That's the intention. Two jump spells, one rage, and one heal. So you can see that everything is going pretty smoothly at the moment. We have golems and witches on either side of the base in order to keep our main force moving through the center. Obviously, if I had clan castle bowlers or valkyries, the central area of the base would be getting taken down a lot quicker. So I would obviously recommend those, but I did want to try this without the clan castle troops because the strategy is the same. It certainly can work without them. And obviously, it's only going to improve your attack and chance of a three star if you have them. If you can save onto the queen ability, you want to try and do so because sometimes the witches can start to thin out towards the end of the base. As long as you get the core down, the queen can reach the defenses on the back end. Pretty straightforward, the easiest Town Hall 9 attack. And that is why you want to save onto a star bonus. I have the four times star bonus and notice I have another star bonus ready to go. So essentially I'm getting an extra out of my boost. In the next couple of days, I will continue to have these cheaper defenses going. I will try and if I can upgrade the clan castle, spell factory, anything that will help your offense is what you upgrade first. Remember you can't brew spells if you upgrade the spell factory, so I would definitely recommend using a book for that. Do you know what? I will probably start this upgrade tonight when I go to sleep because I don't want my builder or my spare builder not working overnight since I'm going to be utilizing him for the next couple of hours on these cheaper style defenses. Okay, we are just about at the end of the six month progression, but whilst I do these final few stages, I do want to have a conversation with you. I will be heavily reading the comments of this video because I'd like to know where we take this series. Should we continue doing one month progression videos? Should we not give an update every month. Maybe we make it one year, the next progression video. The main reason is I started this Let's Play series to bring lower town hall content, teach you strategies along the way, but package that in a completely new fashion. Now, obviously there have been other progression videos came out following the start of this series, but that was my intention. And we progressed through it pretty quickly, to be honest. So the progress is not going to be as in-depth every single month because the upgrades start to take longer and they are also more expensive. But I do want to make sure that each episode I am bringing you something new 
so that you're learning new tactics every single time. Now, unfortunately, I haven't been farming over the weekend with my builders being busy, so I haven't actually got enough Dark Elixir, which I always like to continually have my heroes upgrading. I think I am just going to stick with the Elixir-based upgrades because I'm not going to be playing this account for the next few hours, so I might as well put the builders on the heavier upgrades. And what it means at Town Hall 10 is the walls are getting significantly more expensive. Once we have finished with the elixir upgrades, I can basically use elixir to upgrade the walls and use gold for everything else. Obviously, we have the troops within the lava as well. Once my barracks are fully upgraded though, and we've unlocked the miners, I can teach you the miner farming strategy because that is one thing I really like to integrate into Town Hall 10 so that you can get that dark elixir a little bit easier. It's definitely better for dark elixir than baby dragons but i do still think the baby dragons is the best farming strategy overall when you take into account golden elixir as well for the very end of this episode and the screenshot for the thumbnail i am going to rearrange my base real quick <laughs> i opened youtube and the number one recommended video at the top left is the video i was about to search for it is my best bases video it's where i get all of my base is actually for most of my accounts, so let's get the Farming Town Hall 10 base. Here is the account after six months of progress then into Town Hall 10. Things are so much faster than when I was progressing through the game many years ago. So next episode, if we bring it next month, the next one I will show you the minor farming strategy. You can find it in my farming strategies guide anyways. Obviously, from having over 20 Clash of Clans accounts, it's not easy to progress as if this was my main account, but I will still be playing this account in the background and we can progress the series however we wish. If you do want to see the very first episode and watch all of the way through, I have the playlist linked on your screen. That might help you to give me inspiration for the next episode. There is the subscribe button as well. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.